How's it going, YouTube? So, today I'm starting my A Bullock vlog. I'm going to try and do at least one video a week, if not two. But what I'm going to do is break down every week or every few days what we're doing throughout the course. So, uh, this is kind of a step off from a previous video I made. Uh, one, it was how to survive OCS. I still need to make a follow up on that just to get in like the last little bits as far as graduation, platoon sticks, stuff like that. But um, this is going to be starting what to expect, uh, what you're going to learn, the PT that you might do, stuff like that. So I started the first of this week, I started on March 5th of uh, 2018. So I am now officially an Abolic officer. So what we've done this week has pretty much been in processing. Hasn't been anything too crazy. Mostly paperwork, physicals, getting your gear, the usual stuff that you're going to do in most schools. Now, the big difference between here and OCS or any of the other schools you normally go to is you're treated like an adult. So uh, as far as you know, being to places on time, they're going to give you a hit time and you... Just make sure you're there. I mean, as you can see, I'm staying in a, here on a Fort Benning, it's Abrams Hall. So it's basically like a big hotel. Uh, I'll be here for five months. So this is home for the next five months. Uh, it's kind of nice because I make my bed every day. Uh, bring me clean towels, clean the room. Uh, just make sure I'm somewhat clean and organized. And that's about it. Uh, like I said, this week's been very uneventful. But the biggest thing I can tell you... Um, is have your paperwork in order prior to coming here. As far as your orders, if you're DTSing, like for your National Guard, you gotta have like your 1610. That's what gets you paid to drive here and your per diem while you're here and stuff like that. Also, if you're National Guard, make sure you're National Guard or Reserve, I believe, make sure to carry a copy of your orders on you at all times for the fact that you get to eat chow for free. So if you show a copy of your orders and your ID, you don't have to pay for chow at any of the dining facilities. Uh, as to what to bring, bring uniforms, all the normal stuff. Uh, you're going to get a full issue of CIF while you're here. Uh, I brought a few things like my own ACH, you know, a few little pieces of gear that I like to use and I won't use what they issued me because that's less I have to clean when turning comes around. As far as stuff that we've learned, um, you know, it's been finance stuff, your usual brief, sharp brief. Uh, we've done a transgender brief. Uh, we've gone over armor history. You know, you learn a lot of the little nuances that you're going to start with, just like any other course. Now, next week is the start of the ranges, you know, M4, M9, tanks, learning ammunition, like what style of ammunition it is. All that stuff is next week, and it's a pretty packed week. It's supposed to be one of the funner times here. Um, from what we've heard, op orders, the second phase is the one that just destroys everybody as far as you don't get sleep, you're tired, uh, just stressed out because of the amount of detail that goes into these op orders. So it's not just, oh, here's your here's your mission, you're going to give us a, or a brief in you know, a day or two. No, it's here's your brief, you're going to give us a... Or, you know, here's your information. Give us a, an op order in 12 hours. And it's the next morning. And from what we've been told, it's you have within 45 minutes to an hour. If you go over, you automatically bust. If you're not long enough, you bust. So it's one of those you got to be very specific. You have to practice. You have to know your stuff. Past that, not a whole lot this week. It's been very uneventful. Um, PHA, if you are valid check your date because they will make you do another pha if it's going to expire while you're here so mine was going to expire in may i had to redo my entire pha not a big deal but if it's a step you can fix before you get here that's one less thing you have to do um, paperwork wise like i was saying earlier make sure your paperwork in order there are tests you have to take so like accident avoidance cyber awareness there's an additional duty safety officer course you have to take. It's There's a list of things you have to take, and I believe you can go to the, the ABOLIC website at uh, Fort Benning's page, and you can pull a slideshow, and it has all of those courses on it that you need to take. It's got links in the slides to them, so that's another thing 
get finished before you get here. It's less stress you have to worry about while you're here. Hmm. Other than that, not a whole lot. So I have a weekend off. Uh, I'm going to work out, just do the normal stuff. But I will be back on here, hopefully, once like I say, at least one video a week. Um, if I can do two, I'm going to try to do that, do like one every Wednesday and every Saturday. Uh, that would be a a better thing for me because I can get a lot more detail in and the videos not be super long. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy. And if you got any questions below, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you all next week.